Hi Ari, it's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we slayed some Deadwood Furbolgs for Grazzle. And that increased our reputation with the Timber Moth Furbolgs. And today we will be heading back to gain some more rep with the Timber Maw. And we will be making our way to the northern parts of Felwood to speak with Nafian. So let's get to it. Hope you're all doing well today. Doing pretty good. Getting better. Flu bug's still going around. But it's not too bad. It's a lot worse like a week ago, that's for sure. And I hope we can get our rep up today. See what our rep's at. Currently hostile. Probably need 10 feathers. That'll give us 100 rep. And then after all the timber maw we slay, I think that should give us, you know, the rest. And hopefully we're neutral after that with the timber maw hold. And then we'll be able to pass through into winter spring without being harmed. I also sold some, sold some junk last episode. Bags are looking pretty good. And we repaired our gear, which is good as well. I'm not too sure if there's a repair vendor up in Felwood for Alliance. I know there is one for Horde right here. They have a little village. But there doesn't seem to be too many Alliance camps in Felwood. I'm telling you, the Alliance really gets shafted in Classic. I think it's actually harder to level as Alliance than Horde. That's just my opinion, though. I just think Horde has some more options and a lot of uh, quality of life things that allies don't have. They have better settlements, like locations, I think, than the Alliance do. And I think that's why in TVC they added more flight points. And they're probably for the Alliance. Because I believe there's a flight point up here at Emerald Sanctuary in TVC, but I don't think there's one in in a uh, classic, I don't know, we'll have to check it out. But here we go, guys. This is going to be our journey to 60. I'm going to be playing this character as much as I can. And hopefully we can hit 60 before Blizzard shuts down the Season of Mastery servers. I think we can do it. It's only four levels, but this is a classic. Wow, four levels actually, last four levels take a while. But I think we can do it. Oh, did we buy vials? I don't think we bought vials. I looked at Ratchet and there wasn't any. That's too bad. Whatever, it's all good. We're close to uh, Teldrassil. And I didn't really check Astronar out. Maybe I should have. But I doubt they have crystal vials as well. I assume those are probably only in main cities. Or maybe like, you know, Gadget Sand. We can actually maybe check Winter Spring. Winter Spring should have... You know, an alchemist. And I have to be careful in Winter Spring. They have a flight master that is Horde that I'm used to going to because I usually play Horde. And the Alliance one's kind of out of the way. So I got to make sure I uh, never get near or close to that Horde flight master. That would be a terrible way to end the journey. It looks like it's going to be a much nicer day. In Felwood, 
I will admit I wasn't too happy coming into Felwood last episode and it was raining. <laughs> the zone actually has a unique look to it. It's pretty much Ashenvale, but it's corrupted by the Burning Legion. It's like a corrupted version of Ashenvale, I would assume. Emerald Sanctuary. But we're going to go up to Emerald Sanctuary quick. I just want to see if there's a Flight Master. I don't think there is. I don't remember there ever being one here. Yeah, there's not. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to collect, we're going to slay fur bulks. And we're going to collect uh, 10 feathers, and then we're going to go meet an Affian. Alright. I also turned down the music and the ambient sound. Just taking a look at the last video and it seemed a little too loud. My voice was having trouble competing, competing with it, so turned it down a tad. Okay, so here we go. Let's deal with some fur bulks. Deadwood Gardener. Well, I'm gonna be happy that I got this out of the way. Because if I don't do it now, I'll probably never do it. <laughs> Once you stealth through Timber Maw Hold. You're not going to uh, ever try to get your wrap up. And then we'll be like stealthing back and forth. It's much better just to be able to run through. And there's some other quests. Like, Nathian's going to give us some quests that would give us a decent amount of rep. The problem with those quests is going to tell us to, uh, to come all the way back down here. And that's a. Kind of a pain. Travel all the way down here again. There is another group of, I don't know if they're Deadwood Furbolgs, but there's another group of Furbolgs to the north that we'll be uh, fighting against as well. Oh, pumpkin. So I'll have some of that. Two feathers down. Eight more to go. And look who's back. Rage Paw. We're going to be farming Rage Paw. I hope he get, gives us some nice loot this time. Hornet Bracers of the Monkey, man. Those would be pretty damn nice. They were leather. I would love those if they were leather. Damn it. Well, try have to try again later. Probably see him a lot. 
This will probably be the only ones on this server, like really far leveling in Felwood. There's anybody online in the guild. Not only me. Crazy, like how this journey's changed so much in the guild. Like, the guild used to be full of people, that they had like multiple guilds filled up. And then over time, through the course of like a year, you know, there's barely any of us left. That's how things go, you know? The hype. Hype doesn't last a long time. It's like usually like a month or two. And then uh, people move on to the next thing. doing on feathers. Four feathers so far, not bad. How's our rep doing? Pretty good. We might not even need to get more than uh, we might not even need to get ten feathers. That's the way it's looking. We're going to be at 2900 after this guy. And then I slay ten more of these fur bulgs and then we'll only need five feathers. So I guess it's whatever comes first. Five feathers or ten fur bolts dead. Shared here. No, these fur bulbs are kind of easy for us to fight, but getting kind of low on health. Let's see where we're at with the rep right now. Alright, four more. 
four more fur bulgs or four more feathers? I think it's going to be the fur bulgs. I wonder if we can, like, somehow pull just a few. I can give this a try. It's gonna run away. There's four of them. This could be kind of rough, actually. Not too bad. Now we just gotta turn in the feathers. And we should be neutral. I hope. Pretty sure it's 50 rep we get. Now unfriendly. Oh man, that sucks. That's that's still crappy. I thought we'd be neutral. Okay, well that's not bad. Which means we have a, a long ways to go. Three thousand more rep. I thought we'd be neutral after that. Well, my mistake. I guess we won't be getting through. So we're going to head up anyways. And we'll have a chat with Naffy and might as well get those quests done. Because if we finish those quests up, we'll probably get a lot more rep. But at least we're not hated now. Just unfriendly. I actually got experience for that, for turning those in. You get a thousand, I didn't know that. What I think we'll do is we'll pick up the quests up here. We can't make our way to Winter Spring, which, which kind of sucks. I'm going to be tempted to stealth through there. Because I'll want to... Uh, I want to get the major health pod. We're so close.
This tree looks kind of cool. This place is kind of spooky with the music and everything so decrepit. It's not the same as uh, the Plague Lands, though. I think the Plague Lands is probably the spookiest zone in all of uh, Azeroth. I'm surprised we haven't, like, unlocked any of the map yet. Here is where Nathian should be. I just want to see if we're like unfriendly. If we can attack them, that means they'll attack us. So we're unfriendly, so just see if he attacks us. So we're cool. Okay, so that's good. We're cool. We're unfriendly, but they don't really... We're not hated. Okay, so that's good. We can actually go through here. So I was right.
Alright. Only those who have proven themselves to not be hostile toward the Timber Maw may pass through the hold without fear of being attacked. Have you made an effort to earn our trust, Outsider? I have heard the word on the wind about those not of our tribe who seek to ally themselves with the Timber Maw Furbolgs. I welcome you, but you must be warned that my tribe reacts poorly to strangers. These are trying times, and we can only trust those who choose to fight the corruption of the land alongside of us, and have proven themselves to us accordingly. Those who have not done so will be met with open hostility should they enter the hold. Deadwood of the North. There is a camp of Deadwood Furbolgs directly to our southwest. Corruption permeates the camp, and I wish to put an end to to it before they become a problem. The Deadwood tribe is evil, but it is the effects of the fell that pollutes their minds. Their hostility is not truly an innate quality, yet they cannot be helped. It saddens me that we must fight our own brethren. Please, 007, I ask you to do what must be done. Simply spare me the details. Much troublesome images upset me far too much. All right, so we have to slay six of each. And I think we'll uh, we'll save that for next episode. Next episode, we'll go down here. We'll slay these Deadwood Burbulks, and then we'll make our way through to Winter Spring. So that is going to be the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.